This vignette illustrates uh, the need to drive off or destroy enemy scouts that are threatening your base. And in this particular battle, we've got three important artillery pieces that need to be protected. Now, an enemy T-71, as you can see, is scouting like crazy in the middle of the map, and he's getting those two M-103s hammered to pieces. A lot of damage from long-range shots. Nice shooting on the enemy's part. Uh, Seeger managed to get out of there without getting damaged. Now, in a certain way, it's a good thing those M103s are there because if they hadn't been there, it's possible uh, the scouts could have just waltzed right into our rear area. So, even though they're heavily damaged, they did perform a function. Now, the T-71 at this stage, you know, I'm wondering if he's made a little bit of a mistake there because... There is terrain. There are terrain features there that he can utilize to uh, sneak past those M103s without getting damaged, and he chose not to do so. So he backed off. Now, in the distance, you can see an Amex 1390 is also joining the fight in an uncoordinated way. They did not act together, so that's good for us. Now, I'm going to intervene here for sure. And let's see what happens. Oh, good news. The Amex 1390 just got hammered. So both scouts are heavily damaged, and I will be able probably, as you might guess, to finish them both off. Okay, here we go. Now, you're dead, T-71. Goodbye. Now, this is a bit of ring around the rosy with an Amex 1390, and I'm very aware of the need not to follow a predictable path here. So I go wide here a little bit. And then I go narrow, and where's the arty shell? There's the first one. Now, if I kill this guy, the split second I kill him, I have to veer off at, a, at an extreme angle. There you go. So you make a hard turn the split second you get the kill shot. And do not follow a predictable path. And let's see. I don't think there were any arty shells, fortunately. But you never know what might land on your head, folks.